Hello guys. Today we are gonna learn how to call an API endpoint uh, to get data in Java. So for this purpose, we are gonna use the chase.com API to learn how to extract data from an API. So there are many types of endpoints that chase.com gives us. So we are gonna use the list of players API. So here is the endpoint for this chase.com per country. Here is the ISO code. This ISO code is the country code and uh, the endpoint is player. So uh, let's take an example. So this is how the JSON response looks like. Uh, it contains all the usernames of all the players. So let's start. So uh, I'm going to use the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition. So for this, I'm going to name it as API Video One. And also, I'm going to use the build system as Maven. So let's just do it. Okay. So uh, the artifact ID cannot contain any white spaces. Oh, so I actually it. Okay, so you can see a POM XML file opens up. Here we can uh, put all the dependencies and uh, implementations, whatever we want to import in our app. And here is the main method. <clears throat> so uh, as you can see, we have a JSON. So to call this endpoint, we need to construct an uh, request to the endpoint so that we can call this method. So uh, first what we will do is we will go to the Maven repository and we'll choose HTTP 3. So that we can use that to get our response. So here is the dependency. You can directly copy paste from here. And in the POM XML file, we can add that as a dip first. And inside of dependencies, we add a dependence. Okay, so uh, okay, TTP3 gives us the connection to the endpoint, but uh, the response is in JSON, and so we also need to handle the JSON. So to handle JSON, we use the <clears throat> org.json the standard one to get our things done so from here we inject its dependency okay that's it so we <clears throat> reload it okay so now in the main xml uh, main.java file so the endpoint Okay, so the endpoint gives us an array list of array of uh, usernames, right? So what we will do is we'll write a method with static that will give us an Okay, so just a second. of strings which will be username so get all players by country code this will take an argument as the country code okay so that's it uh, this shows red because we are not returning anything Right, so uh, 
okay so now we go to the url so this is the url right so for us the string url is this one so but uh, here i so is the one we need to insert so let's frame it something like this okay like perfect so this is what our our url endpoint will look like so what uh, we need to do now is we need to <coughs> build an uh, connection so we will be using the we will be using the uh, okay http3 so first of all let's import it okay so all also from the uh, json all the json we need to import import all of the stuff so this is completed so let's just format our url string so we can string dot format method uh, so this will be our URL and we have our country code. Um, okay. Now use let's use the okay HTTP HTTP client. This is our client and we want to make a new HTTP request. So let's build a request. So request 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 to let's build a new request so what uh, let's use a, a new request builder so the builder will have the url as our url string right and let's just build it right so this is our request now now whenever we are making an api call uh, there are many chances that the the server may be down or anything so it may return some uh, non successful connection uh, response codes so to handle that uh, we always try to put a try catch block so if we are using try catch block here we need to write the method can throw exception right so also yes. right so in the try block what we can do is response let's get the response from the client by making a new call so uh, we can do a client dot new call and the input parameter as you can see is request so uh, the request will build and let's just execute this request okay so now we have a response as you can see we requested a response from the client now uh, the response if it is not uh, a successful response so if response is not successful i put a nor sign so if the response is not successful we can throw a exception as um, connection unsuccessful right plus response whatever the response we have right okay so this is done okay so now we have handled the case when the response is not successful now if uh, now we want to return an array list of string so the string the array list will be uh, will be having 
the usernames right of the players so array list of usernames so let's initialize an array list of string users right array list okay so okay so now from the response body we need to extract our uh, response so let's just make it response body and from the response we get our body and uh, we want to return it as a string right so we use the dot string method and not dot to string method uh, please emphasize we use the string method and not the to string method so now <clears throat> the response we have is a json object right so it will be having the following structure so what we have is a json object right so json object json object so we first make a json object of the response we have so from the response body we make the json object and now uh, see here that uh, for the key players we have a list of json objects right so so the data type will be json array so we can simply say players array and from the uh, json object we can get the json array for the key here you can see the key is players right so, and the corresponding value is an array so we can use the players as the key to extract the array and now we simply need to just iterate through the array so it's just the iteration i less than layer array dot length i plus plus so uh, we get the username so these are all the usernames so from the players array we get uh, get uh, string yeah we have the string so at index i so get string i means uh, we get the element at index i and we are going to just add it in the array list username right and we are going to return users okay okay so uh, we can also remove this catch block because we already have uh, considered the case if the connection is uh, not successful so this is good enough so now let's try for india now let's try for india string uh, country code is equal to i right so a list of string users is equal to we are going to call this method get all players by code and we are going to pass country code okay so this method what is so uh, add exception to okay so uh, this can return an exception and this one not so we can uh, we need to <coughs> throw and uh, we need to take care of the exception and we can simply system dot users right yeah this is it so let's try running the code 
yeah so these are all the users we have from the api let's check open yeah so the order is not the right one the order is not the right one because uh the response may be slightly uh, as it is an online response there may be a lag between the parsing of the values so yeah this is it now in the next video as we have now we have all the usernames in the next video we'll try to use uh this usernames to get the profile the entire profile of a user based on the username see this endpoint just returns everything based on the uh, username so uh, we'll try to do that in the next video hope all of this is clear subscribe to my channel thank you